Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro, and I'm going to show you how to create a small animation to create an effect. Uh, in this case, we're going to be doing a, a slow push in. So, what I've got for this, I've got this shot here Higgs medium close up, which is just a shot of me looking straight to camera, and it is just a static medium close up. What we want to do is push into my face. So, we're going to, we're going to, do this slow zoom into my face. So in order to create this effect, we're going to go at the top here to the effects workspace and change the layout of the, the, the interface there. So we've got the effects workspace. Um, and over on the side here, you'll see a new panel called effect controls. Uh, so we're gonna go and highlight that clip because that is the clip that we're gonna be applying this effect to. And you can see there that now that clip is in the effects control panel and it's got its own little timeline with its own playhead that you can slide back and forth to watch that watch that clip in its entirety. So what we need to do is we need to create something called a keyframe and a keyframe is just a little point where the software is going to create a movement um, and we get to control whatever movement that is um, so in this case, we're going to, if you, if you can't see those, those options there, just drop down that FX motion uh, menu there. And we're looking at scale because what we want to do is scale up the video. We're going from 100% to 120% of that scale. So we're basically, we're increasing the shot, the size of the shot. Um, all right. So to start with, we want to make sure our playhead is at the right at the start of that shot. So move that playhead across so it's right at the side of the shot. And in the scale control here, we want to click on this toggle animation icon, right? Um, and that, you'll see that change. And what you can see there, just at the start of that little timeline is a keyframe. This little gray diamond here is a keyframe. And that is this, we're telling the software, the movement's going to start here. Now we want the movement to end at the end of the clip. So we're going to move the playhead right to the end of the clip there. And here we want the scale to change. We want it to get bigger. So we're going to change that scale, <coughs> excuse me, to 120 and hit enter. And you can see there that I've just increased the scale of that shot to 120%. And what you can also see is that that has created another keyframe there at the end of the clip. So now, if I move that playhead, you'll see that the movement is going to change from 100% to 120% at the end of the shot. If I play that back, you'll see that it's just a slow, gradual increase, and we get this slow push in to my face going from a medium close up to a close up. 